A few months ago, millions of people around the world celebrated the birth of Prince George, an extraordinary reaction all over the world. Now we're celebrating the next hugely important moment, which is his christening. And this is the Chapel Royal at St James's Palace, where the Archbishop of Canterbury will baptise Prince George on Wednesday in front of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's closest family and friends. I will mark Prince George with the sign of the cross on his forehead. I will splash water on the head of Prince George three times, by which we understand that this person belongs to God. The Chapel Royal has been the setting for historic royal occasions ever since the reign of Henry VIII, such as the marriage of Queen Victoria in 1840. It will be beneath the ornate Hans Holbein ceiling where the future Supreme Governor of the Church of England will be christened George Alexander Louis. Being baptised meant you joined the family of the Church. Almost 2,000 million people round the world. What a family! But it's a family that is dwindling in size. Barely half the number of baptisms take place today, compared to a time when Prince Charles was christened at Buckingham Palace. But it's not an altogether worrying trend, argue some. My experience as a priest is that the people I meet coming forward to have their child christened, they tend to be more sincere, there tends to be a genuine interest in faith. Um, and I always think being honest with your newborn child is, or in front of your newborn child is a, is a good thing. The Reverend Sally Hitchener has worked with Justin Welby and knows William and Kate will be in very safe hands. He was actually quite normal. He's very, makes a joke when things are funny. He's not afraid to sort of smile if something goes wrong. Um, I would imagine his welcome will be very warm, very personal. And no doubt uplifting at a time when parenthood may still seem a little daunting. My message to them would be, what a treat. What an amazing gift. What wonderful times that you will have. Paul Harrison, Sky News, St James's Palace.